Hello, what's up YouTube? Photographer Ronnie Sweet and I capture one tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how I did the color grading for this very image. And I want to show you the before and after before we can proceed. And if I told you find this video helpful, don't forget or make it a point to hit the like button. And you can as well hit the comments for any feedback about this very video. And if I told you find it helpful, that will be a positive mindset or motivation for me to create more content like this on this channel so let me show you a quick before and after for this and we are in capture one and i just want to show you just a quick before and after for the color grading of this image so you can see this is the after and this is the before after before after and you can say have a couple of adjustment layers right on this other side so i'm just going to close or turn off the before and after slider so what i want to basically i'm just going to come and I hit the reset option. You can see I'm going to be showing you why I created all these adjustment layers right here. Just going to reset the image so that you can start from the very start. So this is the image that I want to work with. And you can see I shot it at ISO 160 and the shutter speed was 1 out of 400 of a second. And I shot it at F5. And I took it using my Canon 60 camera. And the lens I used was a Tamron 7200 f 2.8 lens so i'm just going to come and usually in capture one you may be wondering why my options are on the right hand side i just switched that from window workspace then i came to migration and i put the adjustments onto the right hand side so if i told you missing any tool as we go on with this tutorial on this side make sure you simply right click anywhere and come to add tool and add whichever tool you may be missing within your capture one and i'm using capture one 21 that's the version i'm using for this very tutorial so what i'm going to do basically in capture and i first of all tend to correct the lighting issues in my images so i'm just going to come to the high dynamic range you can see my image is a little bit if at all i turn on the exposure warning it is a little bit overexposed in some areas so i'm just going to come and i'm going to turn down the highlights just like that to get back information within the highlights i'm going to do the same for my whites then i'm going to come the exposure and simply take down the exposure just like that so that the image can look a little bit fairly exposed then i'm going to add contrast to the image by turning up the contrast but i don't overdo this because i'll come down to my levels right here and i'm going to turn up the blacks and that is going to add more contrast within the image so right now as you're looking at the image it is a little bit having these white spots if at all i'm to zoom in you can see these white areas within the image so just want to first of all deal away with those white areas or those white spots in those areas so i'm just going to be creating adjustment layers so the very first one i'm going to do, i'm just going to right click on this layer icon on the plus icon so you right click on the plus icon right here and I'm going to create a new field adjustment layer. So this is going to be working with the highlights and the whites basically in the image. So I'm just going to come to the high dynamic range. And I'm going to take the highlights and whites down. And I'm also going to do that a couple of times because I want to get rid of these white areas within the model's face. So I'm just going to take that a little further. by. So you can see how nice and beautiful Capture is. You create different layers and you can take an adjustment overboard so i'm just going to come back to the highlight option and i'm going to take that down and also do the same for my whites i'm going to do that a couple of two more times so right click and create a new field adjustment layer i'm going to take this down and also the whites down and let me create one more layer one more time and i'm going to do it a couple of times and you can see right now those white areas have been dealt away with so after we have done that, we're just going to come straight to the color grading process. So for the color grading, I'm going to create a new field adjustment layer once again right here. And I'm going to rename this to color grading so that you don't get lost along the way. So color grade. So usually in Capture One, what I tend to do is first of all, evening out the skin tones of my subjects or my models. So with this layer selected, I'm going to scroll all the way down to where it says color editor and go straight to skin tone so we have basic advanced and skin tone so usually i want to first of all 
even out the skin tones of my models so with the skin tone option selected i'm going to get the eyedropper tool right here left click and now zoom in by using Control command plus on the keyboard then i'm going to sample an area that i want the rest of the skin to look like so i'm just going to simply sample an area so i'm just going to go with this area and as soon as i click on that area you can see it samples the area or the colors within that area that is the oranges the yellows reds and magentas so if i told you want to see the selected color range just come to this option which says view selected color range and you can see as soon as you click it automatically turns the rest of the unselected areas into black and white and the selected areas are going to remain colored or in their colored form so i'm just going to turn this off then i don't want the lipstick to be affected if i told you want it affected just don't eliminate it from the ranges so you can eliminate the lipstick by taking the range out of the lipstick so i'm just going to take that slightly up and that is okay so right now i want to make the colors uniform like the area i sampled you can see we have a number of colors right here we have yellows oranges we have some other colors within the skin tone so just want to even out those colors and we have uniform skin tones i'm just going to come to where it says uniformity and i'm going to simply take the hues up just like that and as i'm taking the hues up you can see all the rest or most of the colors start becoming or looking very nice and beautiful and they are really getting even so i'm just going to come and take up the saturation even more just like that and you can see now the skin is getting to look very nice and uniform and after doing that i'm just going to come back up right here because i feel like the skin is a little bit pale and i'm going to come to the contrast and add contrast within this layer just like that and i'm also going to turn down the exposure a little bit more and come to the highlight and simply drop down the highlight just like that so this is targeting more the skin tones of the model so i'm just going to come back to my skin tones right here and you can see the image is looking great and it is looking okay and it is not as overexposed like it was before so with this turned on i can come and add for example if at all i want to add magenta within the skin tone i can take this towards the magenta and it's going to add reds within the skin tone and taking it up it is going to add the opposite of magenta which is green within the skin tone so just going to take that towards the red slightly and if at all you want to unify the skin tones even more you can take the hues a little bit further so right now we have a very nice and even skin tone so let's first of all work on the environment because that is also going to affect the image to some extent so with affecting the environment we're just going to come to the basic panel and they're going to come right here to for example the greens and simply you're just going to hue the greens towards the aqua side just like that and we are just going to desaturate that color and you're going to come to our yellows and you're going to desaturate or take out the yellows from the image so that the image or the model can stand out a little bit more then i'm going to also come right here to my blues because i prefer that kind of teal look to the jacket of the model i'm just going to come to the hues and i'm going to hue the blues towards the aqua side just like that and you can see that looks okay it looks great and the next thing i want to do i'm going to come to my color balance right here and this is where the magic is going to take place so i feel like i want to add science to my shadows so just come and select the shadows and click in the middle wheel and just take it towards uh, the edges just like that and you can see the more you take it towards the edges the more the science are going to be stronger so in order to reduce on the intensity you can drag this back towards the center and that is going to reduce on the intensity or you can simply click right here and you're going to uh, reduce on the effect of the aquas in this very image that so after that i'm just going to come to my midtones and i'm going to add a little bit of oranges to my midtones and that is going to make the image a little bit better or look better and i'm just going to add a tiny bit of that then i'm going to come and add a little bit of greens to my highlights and i'm going to take that down by moving this 
knob downwards and you can see that is what we have right now so right now the skin if at all you're comfortable with the skin you can leave it the way it is but i'm going to come back to the basic slide and i'm going to target the oranges so i'm just going to take down the lightness or the luminosity of the oranges just like that and i feel like the skin of a model is a little bit more on the orange or yellow side i'm just going to add or hue the oranges towards the reds just like that and make them look a little bit red in color and i'm also going to desaturate that color so this is what we have right now so if at all you feel like you want to alter or change the colors further on you can come and create one more adjustment layer so simply hit the plus icon and create a new field adjustment layer and you can come back to the basic panel and you can hue the blues even more to the color of your test just like that and you can as well come to the greens and also take them even up and that is going to make the image really nice and stand out so basically this is what we have right now we are done doing the color grading on the skin tones of the model and let's have a look at the before and after for the color grading process this is what we had before and this is the after before after just look at how nice the image has turned out to be with just those few adjustment layers so a good thing with capture one you can as well come to the color grading and if at all you feel like you have gone overboard you can come the opacity select a given layer and reduce on the opacity of a given adjustment you have put to the image so basically when you're done doing the color grading you want to take the image into photoshop to do the skin retouching so in order to do this you're just going to come and simply right click on the image and come to edit with and come to photoshop 2020 or whichever version you're using of photoshop simply select it and you can um, I prefer a TIFF file and 16-bit is my preferred bit depth of images. Options I prefer uncompressed and ISIS profile as 98. Then the resolution is 300 pixels per inch and the scale is fixed. And I simply click on edit variance and it's going to be open into Photoshop for me to do skin retouching on this very image. So basically, this is it for today's story. And if at all you have loved this, don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing trolls. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.